All right, Cam, let's just start with the recap of the round, obviously highlighted by, by two Eagles and, and how important that was to, to keep you going throughout the throughout the round. Yeah, I mean, I started off pretty uh, terribly, to be honest. I hit a couple of nice shots in, and uh, my yard just weren't quite, uh, weren't quite on point, I guess. And, um, yeah, I just needed those two Eagles to get, you know, a, a really low one happening. Um, obviously, um, two really long putts, and probably quite fortunate that they went in, but uh, they went in. So long putts, you had trouble getting there with some of the wind, I, I imagine? Uh, just the first couple of holes, I think, um, on the range it was quite um, quite still and then uh, just took a little bit of getting used to, but I uh, got used to it pretty quick out there. Take me through some of your uh, off-season activities and what you're doing ahead of, ahead of this point. Not a lot. <laughs> a lot of lounging around, um, a lot of fishing. Um, uh, around a golf here and there with mates, but um, yeah, trying to tried to keep it as casual as I could. I would have loved to go home back to Australia, but wasn't able to make it home. And um, yeah, so not much. I know you mentioned a little golf, but how else were you preparing for, for the start of 2022? I got, got in here on Thursday last week. So, um, you know, the weather back in Jacksonville typically this time of year isn't that great. Um, so I wanted to give myself a little bit of time to uh, get used to the course and, uh, you know, also the time change and stuff like that. And um, like I said, I haven't been doing too much practice, so being here made me practice, and uh, yeah, it was good. And then the green books, we've been asking a lot of people their thoughts on that. What are your thoughts on that, and have you run into any issues? Um, no, I, I have, I've, I've never really been a big fan of the greens books. Um, I do aim point express, and uh, I, I like to feel a lot of stuff. I'm, I like to see stuff, and I like to feel stuff, so uh, the greens, book, greens books for me, uh, took away a lot of that and um, I gave him a crack a couple of times but uh, yeah was never really a fan cool all right you know you know each other right are you <laughs> saying it was Pinner's fault was your <laughs> <answer>? <laughs> mate yeah just I mean obviously clearly you've had success in Hawaii so is it just the fact that you're laid back and ready to rumble and or, I mean what is it you think that gets you in a good space at this time of year yeah I think you know six or seven weeks off um, a bit of a refresh um, I mean, it, it got really hectic there towards the end of the season last year. I didn't play a lot through the fall, so it, it kind of felt like I've had a, a really long break. But, um, yeah, no, it's always good to just be at home and, and fish and kind of do nothing. What's it going to take to sort of keep this go, this rolling? Obviously, there's generally low ones out here a couple of times a week, so you've got to keep your foot down, I'm guessing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the course is really receptive. Um, it, it's going to be low scoring all week unless the wind gets... It, Unless the wind gets up, um, I don't think that's meant to be the case. So, um, yeah, it'll probably take something, you know, maybe three more of those to, to get the job done. Sweet. I've got nothing. <laughs> you killed Thanks. it. <laughs> Thanks, Cam. Thanks,